Hi everyone, this is Clausius, and today I'm going to try to talk about uh, influence and thickness a little bit. Um, so someone gave me a game example, and this is the board. Uh, I won't go over it since I don't have permission from both players. Um, so I can only go over this position, I won't be able to go over the entire game. Um, so white went in right here. Um, this might be a little too deep. Uh, when you're trying to deal with influence or thickness, you want to try and find the line of the influence. Um, in that case, it'd probably be probably about right here, maybe right here, maybe even right here. Um, so you want to find that line and then try and stick on it. Or I guess the line would be somewhere around there. So maybe move like this would be okay. Um, because you don't want to get attacked very harshly inside this thickness. You don't want to get enclosed inside the thickness. Because with all these walls everywhere, it'll be very difficult to make life. So white came in here. Um, black played the good next move. Then white played here. White played here. This is good so far. White played here then black play here. This is the first mistake. Uh, so, normally if you have this square shape like this, move these extra stones, then you play a nice move on one of the two so sides. That's the shape, so that way you don't get into a broken shape like this. In this case though, In this case, though, the stone's already here, so you, all you need to do is just keep them closing it. Maybe move like this, or maybe move like this. Just keep him enclosed. Make sure he can't escape. This move pushes through, creates bad shape, and then lets white escape immediately. As you can see, White has a way to get out, but White went down here first, not sure why, and then went right here. And now Black's influence is destroyed. Okay, so Black messed up because he let White out really easily. Now, well, in, not in all cases can you completely enclose White and kill him, because we don't play a game thinking that we can kill White. So. Instead, what should we do to attack this group? Let's assume that these two white stones can live, no matter what we do. Then, how, what should you do with your thickness? How should you use it to attack this white stone? What you do is you try to gain profit somewhere else. You can gain profit by getting strength to help a weak group. You can gain profit by getting more influence. You can gain profit or by getting points. So, what you want to do is attack these two stones and gain profit. So let's look at what black can gain. Let's say white plays all these moves, and then he lives inside. Let's even let him. I'll give you a living position. Now, black's not trying to kill. Black's just saying, okay, go ahead, make your life. I don't mind. All right, and just do this. Now... Obviously, this is not how it's going to play out, but I'm just giving you an example. Alright, so, let white live. White lives. But look at the life he created. It's very small, like at all these stones. Now, you may be thinking, how can I use these stones? What's the difference? All you need to do is just play a move like this. All of a sudden... Uh, well, uh, let me explain something real quick. Um, a lot of Q players don't realize how close cut this game can be. Um, I mean, if you have ten point a ten point lead, you're very comfortable. Now, let's say both positions are have the same amount of points. Then, what's going to be the game deciding factor is this thickness, because near the end of the game, this thickness or the this influence wall right here 
it's going to turn into um, a few point, a good few points, maybe 10 or 15 points. So all of a sudden, this thickness becomes a good, uh, you, let's say, 10 points. This thickness is already 10 points. Even if White tries to do something like this, there's no way to completely stop the thickness from getting some points somehow. You're not going to go around doing everything you can. White's not going to go around doing everything you can to stop this thickness. Later in the game, this thickness will probably be getting some points somewhere. That's the key, though. The object of this game is points. You're not trying to kill anything. You're not trying to win by more, having more captures than your opponent. You're trying to win by getting more points. So this thickness right here, just start creating an influence. The point of a moyo is make it big enough so that way your opponent invades, so that way you can attack your opponent and gain profit. Here's the profit. Do you think white can take this away? Let's say white has to come in here. The line move would be right there, and then you can just play a move like this, keep your points. But if, let's say white tries to go in too deep, all of a sudden, white's going to be dying. Now, even if this group can live, already there's a weakness in white's framework. White's shape up here. This thickness can be used to take away white's points. Thickness can be used in several ways. It can be, if it's like this, it can give support to invading stones. Or like this, it can make it so that way you can make a lot of points. Now, you don't use thickness to make points. You use thickness to attack. So, instead, threaten great points. Force white to give you points. Because white doesn't want to give you all of this, so he'll just give you as little as he can. Um, so that's a bit of a touch-up on influence in Mario. There's a lot of things that th to think about, but influence in Moyo, they're mainly used to attack your opponent and gain profit. I'm not sure uh, how much else, I, how much more detail I can get into it from this. Uh, a lot of this is going to be coming from experience and reviewing your games, studying what could you have done, how could you have used this better, and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to come, a lot of this is going to come with experience. So, walls and thickness, when you see a weak group, push it towards the walls and thickness to make it uncomfortable. Then you can attack that group and gain profit. Well, I hope this helps, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and until next time.